Hi, welcome to Yoga with Andrea. I hope you take some time today to join us and to do some practice with us. I've got Brian here from Fort Smith, but also from the Arkansas Yoga Center. He teaches there and does the teacher training with me. And I messed up. It's Very Yoga with very Andrea. Yoga with very Yoga. yoga. Yes. You know, it's a branding that we've done and a name that we, because Very Yoga encompasses it, it all. And it's variety and it's very the poses for you because not one size fits all. That's right. And there's room for us all, regardless of our abilities or challenges. Yes. So today's show is a standing show. We see you. So if you're already tuned in, you're ready to do this with us, make sure you're barefoot. Make sure that you are in, have enough room around you to move. We're going to stand first in one place at first, and then we're going to move into some other flows. Our legs are going to step back and do all kinds of things like that. So make sure your animals are put us away and they're not underfoot. So the first one is be an immune system booster. Is that correct? Right, right. Okay, so why don't you, you're going to lead us As we it. change from seasons, you know, from going from winter to summer and summer to winter, often we're challenged in our body and there's something that we can do uh, just in our yoga practice that helps bolster our immune system. Great. We have a little gland at the, at the top of the chest called the thymus mm -hmm. and that convert stem cells in the body to T cells, T lymphocytes, the infection okay. fighters. So today we're going to breathe and tap our thymus, which is just at the top of the chest, mm -hmm. but we're going to tap it gently so that we're not bruising ourselves, but inviting additional blood flow and assisting That's with glandular like function. Slap. No slapping, no, okay. no, just, just gentle <laughs> little, just tapping. Just not gentle tap, okay. And we're also going to move our arms, which encourages the movement of the ribs to uh, encourage deeper breathing. Okay. So that's we're going to do those two things. So it's going to increase oxygen to our blood and stimulate the thymus function. Okay, so why don't you join us? We call this the Tadasana Immune Flow. Tada means mountain. So, so we're in standing just mountain pose. Yep, feet fist widths apart. So the Tadasana Immune Flow. Tadasana Immune Flow. Okay. So we're pushing the air out first. Bring your hands together in front of you and push your elbows together. That's squeezing the air out. That's an exhale. And then before you inhale, tap gently the top of the chest twice and then sweep your arms wide. Inhale as you draw the breath in. Exhale, sweep your arms wide and down again. Make sure your knees are unlocked. Palms together, elbows together. Press the air out. And then tap the chest twice. Inhale, take your arms wide and up. Exhale, arms wide and down, and palms together and elbows together. Press the air out. Then tap twice, gently. Inhale, wide and up. Exhale, wide and down. Keep, Good. Keep going. Join us here. Tap twice, gently. Inhale, wide and up. Just a few more times. You can do this on your own as many times as you like. It really helps to, deep, to bring us to calm because a deep breathing helps to trigger the calm response in the mind and the body. And down, let's do one more time. Palms together and elbows together. And then last time, tap gently twice. Inhale, wide and up. And then exhale down. Just let your arms be at your sides for a moment and roll your shoulders. One, the other, maybe both. The nice thing about that too is that it just is, even if you don't do the tap and just do the inhalation and the movement of your arms, you're starting to create that circulation in your shoulders and just increasing that breath flow. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we have, which also helps and gets the arms moving, mm -hmm. is the moon salutation. moon salutation. And again, you're just standing in Tadasana. There's no movement of the feet going back or out in front of you, so find a good stable base with your feet. As Brian said, soften the knees so you're not keeping a locked knees. And with this, we'll do this several times through too, so we hope you'll join us. You start with your hands beside you, and on an inhale, lift your arms up, and we'll mirror you. So we're going to go the opposite direction. You're going to go to your right. Bring, I put my right hand down, and you might just sway over to the right if you wish. Take your right hand down, and then inhale yourself back up, arms beside your ears. Exhale the opposite way. Good. And back up again, inhale. And then let's turn and turn away from the television and bring your arms so they're parallel with the floor. Look behind you and then turn back to center. Exhale, turn and look the other way and then come back to center. And now we're going to do a little forward bend. So soften those knees again and exhale. Swan dive all the way down. You can touch your hands to your shins or to the floor. Ooh, stretch the backs of your legs. Come up halfway and then fold back into your legs. Push down into the floor with your feet. Use the power of your legs. Inhale all the way up again. We're going to do it again several more times. Exhale over to your side. Good. Hope you join us. Inhale back up. Nice reach. Doing great. Exhale over. You know, Andrea, this moves our spine and in all inhale. six directions. Six directions yes. of spinal movement are crucial for a healthy spine. So think about that when you're doing this with us. Right now we're doing a twist. So you probably feel that in your spine. 
and back up. You know, let's, let's throw a little, little back, back bend. bend. Yeah. Add that in. So you get a little upper back bend. Not too far. And then over and then forward bend. Swan dive down. On an inhale, come up part way. Some of you might want to take your arms out into a T. That helps you work your shoulders a little bit more. And then inhale all the way up again. Good. Let's keep going. Over to your side, exhaling. And back up again. And the other way. Beautiful. I love this. And this is a great way to do this in the morning, wake up, get the spine going. Because you know, sometimes, let's say you've just gotten out of the shower and you're like, I don't have time. You have a little bit of time just to do this. And maybe you've already got clothes on, you're ready for the day. Just stand here and do a little bit of spinal movement, right? That's and right. exhale over. Keep going. Inhale through your nose. Exhale again through your nose. And all the way back up. Let's go one more time. So go over to the side, you can take the hand down and leave them up like Brian's doing. Come back up again. You choose. That's the nice beauty of very yoga. Variation. Yes. Make it work for you. Turn to your right. Inhale back up. So you keep the arms parallel with the floor. Back to center. And a little back bend. Open up the front of the spine and back up. Let's fold forward. Oh, I love this. Stretch those hamstrings. And back down. Let's inhale all the way up. So I hope you're feeling this, the, the movement in your spine. Bring your arms to your side again. Let's roll those shoulders. And we have a little... This next one is a little more stronger. intense. Yes, this is Brian's going to lead us in this one. Most of the time when we stand in our poses, we're doing Tadasana, which if you could see inside the skeleton from the hip sockets to the knee joints to the ankle joints are equidistant apart. So the equidistant. But in Samasthiti, which is a different pose, which we means bring... See, means steady. Steady. So same steady pose. Mm -hmm. So we bring our feet together, and not everybody's going to be able to do this quite the same, but if you can bring the mounds of the big toes and the heels together. Yeah, this is good. Like, the cameramen have got your feet. This is showing you. Not everybody can do this. If you, you, if you can see my feet, go over to my feet, and I can't get mine together because of a problem with my toes, you see? All right together. So this is a good... Again, very yoga. Modify what works for you. So I have to really push my feet together. So I'm going to take them just a little bit yeah, wider. There's something apart. else about this. If you have any balance issues, if this is too unstable, let your feet be apart. It's really okay. Yeah. But if you can bring the feet together, it adds more of the challenge of balance okay. to the body. So we're going to flow with this in Samasthiti. Everything draws together to the middle. So bring your palms together and take your arms up and your arms go toward your ears. Draw your low belly in and the back of your neck is long and you do a little back bend. Just a little bit, not far. And then swan dive down. You bend your knees to bring the fingertips to the floor. And then you step your right foot back into lunge. A small amount or very deep. It depends on your range of motion. It's all right however far you go. Now we're going to do a little balance here. It's a strong stretch. Okay. Now bring your hands forward so you're creating a triangle between your hands and your foot. And then lift your leg that's behind you. Lift it as high as is right for you. Straighten both legs if you're able. And then bring that foot right down next to the other one that's on the floor. Bend your knees and press your feet. And let's come all the way up. Feet are right wow. next to each other. Palms together. Arms with the side of your head. A little back bend. Not too far. Oh, this starts Ooh. to burn. This starts to increase our heart rate. Swan Good. dive down again. It's As we want. Practice. This is a st standing. Bend the uh, knees. Step your yoga little. flow practice. And Left foot. Get back. your heart going. That's right. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And breathe. Mm. This is a good, these are good shows to do before lunch. Before lunch, yes. <laughs> or at least two hours after eating. Now you bring yeah. your hands forward in your former triangle and lift your, your left leg if you're doing mirror image from us. Ah, Keep now bring breathing. the left foot right down next to the right. Bend your knees, press your feet. Let's take it up again. Something that I love about doing poses multiple times mm -hmm. is the first time awakens and the second time, friend. Hi, friend. <laughs> and the second time deepens. So we got our knees bent. Yes. And then we step our right foot back again. You got it. Ah. And now we go kick up because we're on yes. standing split. We bring the hand, hands forward and lift up the leg. Yeah. Keep your fingers in a spider position, huh? That's right. Your leg is doing most of the work. Then bring your right foot down next to your left, bend your knees, press your feet, hands widen up. Good. Try, keep, try this with us. And we're going to do another forward and fold and down back again. in. again. Knees bent. Step your left foot back now. Good. Breathe. Yeah. Woo. Heart rate getting up. Yeah, it is. <sighs> yes. <laughs> I like it. Good. And then bring it back down. Because when you get your heart rate going, you burn calories. That's right. 
What's that whole thing? And then if you get your uh, quads in c condition, they burn calories even when you're at rest. Yeah, let's keep so when going. The muscles move, are toned. Inhale, lift up. Samastiti with extended arms. Swan dive down. Bend the knees. That's Look right. Right foot back. Our left. We're mirror image. Yeah. You can do this. Come on, join us. Oh, Just try what you can. If you have to keep this one knee bent, keep it bent. If you, how high can you lift your leg? Oh, and bring good. it right beside right your Right down leg. next to the other foot. Press the feet. Arms widen up. Little back bend. And then we swan dive down again. And now your left foot, our right. So this is our last round? That's right, last round. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. Now learn these sequences, and you can do as many as is right for you. Yeah, you do half exactly. a dozen of these. They're very stimulating, very energizing. See, the first actual ah. sort of flow that got into yoga was the sun salutation. It was linking poses together. Mm. Very Yoga has come up with multiple flows that move the spine, work the legs. So that's what we're doing here is showing you different flows that you can then link together on yourself. And sometimes you can take one show and follow those flows and then take another show and follow those flows. So here comes another one. And this is, uh, we are gonna, another thigh burner. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a break here for just a second. If you're doing this with us, just oh, stand into the last one. Your shoulders relax away from your ears. What I do like about this one is where it's, uh, you can either do it with your feet right together like Ryan was talking about or take your feet a little wider. First we'll start by bending the knees. So start to bend your knees. And if you can, keep your knees because you can still see your big toes. So you're not bringing your knees way forward. That's going to stress the knees too much. So you just keep the knees a little bit behind the toes. So you have to move your hips back. Yeah. Good. And then you'll start to feel this in your thighs, don't you? Now, uh -huh. if you don't yet, we'll just wait here till yeah, you do. Just wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't tell if you are, so just scream loudly. Maybe I can hear you. <laughs> ah! Oh, hands those together. are my thighs screaming. <laughs> yeah, hands together. Here comes the twist. So you're going to take your opposite elbow to the opposite knee. So twist with us. Oh. And I press against the knee and turn the torso. And then you come back to center. And guess what? We go the other oh, way. Good. Ah, twist. Yeah. Beautiful. Then come back to center. Now we're going to give our knees a little break. So we're going to straighten our legs and plant your hands, if you can, on the floor, or soften the knees a little bit. And I'm then, doing the variation with hands on the shins. Good. So watch Brian for a variation. And then you'll twist in a standing pose. You'll twist open and bend one knee, the knee you're twisting towards. And then bring that hand down and go the opposite. Good. And then release and come back into standing. Bring your hands down. We'll do that three more times. Okay. And you can see there's a variation right there. I take my hands down. Mm -hmm. Brian took his hands. And last, last time, time, you took your hands down the middle, and, and I did that. So here, very yoga, right? Whatever works. That's right. All right, inhale your arms up. And exhale. Fold and bring your, bend your knees. Hands towards the floor. Oh my goodness. Twist. Feel those thighs, right? Mm -hmm. Back to center. Twist the other way. Back to center. And then set your hands down. You can, or on your shins, like Brian did before. We're going to do a twist. So you're going to open up to your left. Yeah, and you would straighten your left leg. Straighten the left leg. I said, yes, arm. great. Thank you. Yeah. Bring your hand down. Twist the other way, so that if you're twisting, you're, the leg you're twisting toward is straight. And back down. Bend your knees and come all the way up to standing again. And how we do our hands. And okay, like. We'll do it together. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it one more time, okay, Brian. Good. I hope your hearts are going with us. Inhale. Bend those knees. You can fold forward a little bit. Hands in front of your heart and then twist. Back to center. Right for the quads. Oh my goodness. Back to center. Hands on your shins or on the floor. Twist open to your left. And the left leg is straight. Yeah. Right knee is bent. And then back down again. Change sides. Open up. This is a good spinal twist, mm -hmm. too. And down. Press into the floor. So now we have moving into, I think, an archer. Archer. Now, how do you say it? <laughs> Sanskrit is the language of yoga. And uh, archer, the word archer, like someone who pulls the, the 
bow back and shoot the arrow. I'm going to let you say this. I'm not even going to try. Kshipaka. Kshipaka means archer. So (laughs) Kshipakasana is archer archer pose. Bless you. (laughs) (laughs) Akuchipasana. Akuchipasana. You got it. (laughs) (laughs) So follows at home, we're doing mirror image from you. So I want you to take your right foot forward. Okay, before we start again, it's the archer uh, what is it? <laughs> the archer flow. The archer flow. The very yes. yoga archer, archer flow. flow. Okay. So, so now take your right, for- right foot forward a little bit and your left foot back a small amount, a medium amount, or way far back. And that just depends on your range of motion. Now, you remember, Miriam, as you bring your left hip around so you're facing the television with your right knee forward. Take your arms toward the TV, your palms facing. Bend the front knee. Bend the front knee, but okay. not too far. Just okay. bend a little bit. Arms forward toward the television, palms facing each other. You inhale in place. Exhale, draw your left hand back as if you're pulling back on the bow. You draw it back you and you look, turn the torso. Turn. You can look towards your right hand. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw your, your oh, other hand back. Oh, here comes your, a twist. <laughs> Aha, uh-huh, that's a deeper twist. Inhale, extend. I like this. Good. Exhale, draw your left hand back. All right. And Inhale, you might extend. think, God, doesn't Andre know every single very yoga flow? Mm-hmm. No. no. Nor Brian, does Brian. Brian. <laughs> We're a team. Inhale, extend. And we do it together. And sometimes when we're, we're at our home practice or working, in pr- we come up with a new flow. And it's evolving. That's what I love about it. And it gives you that opportunity to evolve it. You know, our needs evolve throughout our lives. Yes. They change. And so, very yoga can change with you mm-hmm. and still be whatever can meet your needs and be a blessing to your body yes. at all stages. One more time. Take yeah. that. Left well, and the beauty of it, too, is that it meets that need and has a lot of therapeutic value That's to it. That's right. Okay. And now bring your hands to the top of your thigh and step your back foot forward. Wow. And now at home you step your right foot back and now your left foot is forward. And again this is... Kshipakasana. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> so okay. your left knee is bent. The way, uh, the uh, archer, archer flow. Archer flow, yeah. <laughs> Palms facing each other. You inhale in place. Now you draw your right hand back. Our left. You're drawing it back. You can look towards your left hand. Inhale, extend it back. You're turning the torso as you exhale. Take your left hand back and twist the torso. Inhale, straighten back up. Exhale, right hand back and twist. Inhale, extend. Left hand back and twist. Inhale, extend. Right hand back again. You can do it. You know, it's amazing how quickly this goes. You know, most of these shows are less than 26 minutes long and you get a good workout and you can start your day and you feel much better. We even throw in a little bit of rest at the end. One more time, draw that right hand back. Extend, last time left hand back. Good, not too many sequences left here. So let's come forward. Yeah. Good. So we're now moving into a, a flow, still with the warrior. Now mm-hmm. I don't have Virabhadrasana, I can say that. Mm-hmm. Virabhadrasana, but, and then Purvotal. Is that right? Purvotanasana. Purvotanasana. And that is the, the, you fold over your front leg. Oh. We're going to be a variation Parsvotanasana. on it. Parsvotanasana. <laughs> Purvotan, per, Parsvotanasana. No, no, Purvotanasana. That's it. Purvotanasana no, is intense stretch to the east side of the body. Yeah, this. That's Parsvotanasana. Okay. And so, so we're going to keep the front leg. What you do is you, you uh, stay forward in, in warrior. Keep your right foot forward left foot back and you'll bend your front knee into warrior warrior one good and we're gonna keep the knee bent so we're not gonna go to the side like this we're gonna stay forward the whole time and so it's a variation on a intense stretch so you inhale take your arms up into warrior one good front knee stays bent exhale fold over that front knee and take your arms behind you keep the back leg straight front knees bent inhale come back up oh, good Exhale, fold. You know, a pose by any other name still does. Inhale up, yeah. Yeah, and you know, it's like you can. Doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't matter. And back up. Good. And then one more time. Good. And then come up. Now keep the front knee bent. I want you to stay here with us. Stay here with us. Keep that front knee bent. And bring your arms in front of you. Lift your right arm hard on your left, and then let's do some Garuda Asana arms here. Just Ooh. right into warrior. Stay warrior legs and Garuda Asana arms. And Garuda means eagle. Breathe. 
Oh, I didn't tell you. On the drive up to Fayetteville today, I saw a bald eagle flying over the mountains on Beautiful. 540. Beautiful. Oh, it's a gorgeous wow. release. Shoulder roll. Put your hands on your front thigh. Step forward. Oh, Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> We've got the other side to do. Let's step back. Ah, oh, remember you bend the front knee. Keep the front knee bent. The back leg stays nice and straight. So you anchor into that back heel. Turn your hips forward, just like Brian said earlier. Take your arms up. You're going to keep the front knee bent the whole time. No straightening the front leg. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Back up. Exhale. Inhale. Keep going. Join us here. You can do it. This is also works. Helps tone your abdominal muscles. And exhale, fold over your front leg. Beautiful. It also works your Come back up. and your shoulders. Yeah, now stay here. Keep your front knee bent. Take your arms out in front. And we're going to change arms. So you're going to cross your left over your right. We're mirroring you. There you go. And Eagle. if this doesn't work, you can hold the top of your shoulders. There we go. This is another variation. Excellent. Self hug. Breathe. Keep the stability in your legs. Good. Release your arms. Woo. It's even, you know, you're working, heart's going, legs are working, and then you're under these lights. <laughs> okay, step forward, good. Shake out your feet. Well, so we're going to we're going to start to to cool down. Not time for shavasana yet, but we're getting there. So what we do is let's go to the floor, mm -hmm. and how about if we just do a few little floor stretches so they can get them ready to get on the floor and I mean lie down. Because okay. I'd like you to guide us through some the guided shavasana. Oh, Brian's good, got a great good. technique here. So we got our legs up. Let's just do a little baby cradle. Bala doli kasana. Bala doli kasana. The hips to open, to release. You can bend your right knee, grab your right foot, and just rock. Side to side, back, side to side. And then you can go forward and back. So show a variation on how we could hold our leg. If you have the range of motion, you can put the foot in the bend there of the elbow go. and cradle it this way. Yeah, most people will see that and their eyes pop out of their head. Well, let's keep going. The next one is to take your arms under your yes. leg, and this brings the foot up higher close to your shoulder, really stretches the outside of your thigh. This is not going to be for everybody. No. And then the, the final one is where you just put your leg right behind your head. Whoa. Not doing that, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, change sides. So we're releasing our hips, and we take the left knee in, and hold the left foot, or you can, like Brian said, catch it in the crook of your elbow. Or you can put it underneath. So we're, this is this is a good transition. You're finishing up, and we're going to move into lying on the floor on our backs. I'm going to lie on the floor. Brian is going to lead us in guided meditation. We're grateful that you joined us today for some very yoga flows, some standing strong, powerful oh, power work. flows today. And as we say in our classes, and we say on the show, being grateful that you've come is from our hearts to yours. And what is the word we use? We say. Namaste. Namaste. We're not leaving yet. We're gonna, I'm going to go out. Brian's going to lead you right. in now, a guided meditation. So I start on my back. Right. And be I'm comfortable. So if, you, if you're at home and <sighs> doing this with us and lying on your back is uncomfortable, I'm going to do this for Andrea, take a blanket or a pillow oh, and put it under your Oh, thank you, my friend. Good. There you go. <sighs> All right. Great. So just be comfortable for a few moments. And do this with us. Lie down on the floor. So I'm going to guide you for just a few moments here. Ah, first, just close your eyes and tune into your breath. Let your breath flow in and out through your nose, long, slow, and steady. Every time you exhale, let your body release a little more. This is a wonderful thing that you can learn that helps you anytime you need to take a nap or when it's time to go to bed. You scan your body for tension, what you're holding on to. So I want you, Andrea, and you at home too, I want you to feel where your heels are touching the floor. And just relax your feet down to your heels. Let the tension drain from your toes down to your heels and ground right to the floor. And then see, feel where your ankles are not on the floor and then your calves are on the floor or maybe they're up. It's going to be different for each of us and feel how your knees are either down or supported by a blanket or a pillow. And then feel how your glutes are grounded to the floor. Feel how your low back is a little bit up off the floor and your mid and upper back are pressing into the mat. Release down to it now. Let your torso relax to the floor. Now feel your shoulders and feel where they're pressing into the mat, into the floor. Relax from your shoulders down your arms to your elbows to your wrists and your fingers. In fact, wiggle your fingers just a little bit. Wiggle them. Good. 
and then let the tension drain out. Consciously relax your body into stillness. Now let's move the awareness to the neck. So relax your neck consciously. Let go of any tension that you're holding on to. And let your jaw relax. Feel your jaw and your tongue and the lips. Just relax them gently. Feel the muscles of your face. Relax around your cheeks, your temples, and your forehead. Relax your eyebrows and the muscles around your eyes. Another deep breath in. Exhale, release your face into stillness. Relax. Ah, sweet release. Now relax the back of your head to the pillow or the blanket or the floor. We take another gentle breath in. And now exhale and release from the crown of your head all the way down to your fingers and toes and just feel that sweet release of the body from the top of the head to the extremities, the fingers and toes. Another breath in, we're gonna do it again. Exhale, release down from the head to the fingertips and the toe tips. Now let your breath continue to flow gently evenly, steady and slow. You can let your awareness stay on your breath or you can paint a picture inside your own mind of a beautiful vista of a mountainside or at the lake or whatever image brings you serenity, brings you into that peaceful place. Relax the body down. We want to thank you for joining us today for Very Yoga with Andrea and Brian.